Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wassalatu wassalamu ala asyrafil anbiya wal mursalin wa ala alihi washabbi ajmain. Alhamdulillah. I'm going to give you a sim simple framework uh, because if you go to many motivation classes by, run by this uh, so-called secular motivators, they have this idea called the power of thinking big. So I want to give you this idea. Is that concept consonant with Islam or not? Uh, this is where I think we have to understand that in Islam, there is such thing as the power of thinking big. Yes, there is. But in relation to what? As I mentioned in the previous video, we can think the highest level of our achievement, our capability, our knowledge, our invention, whatever that we want to do, all in the realm of these possibilities, it is allowed by Allah. So even the greatest of our achievement uh, is nothing compared to the real, absolute achievement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we can understand that if we want to think big and we use that power of thinking big to achieve something in life, it is perfectly acceptable in Islam provided with the proviso that we understand that relatively to the absolute power of Allah, and the bigness or the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are a creature of nothingness. So that must be the first foundation for us to go. And then we say, okay, now I have a big dream. I have a big vision. I, have, uh, I want to harness this power of thinking big. Yes, whatever that you can imagine in your mind, you can achieve. Because that is what Allah has ordained. So if you imagine in your mind that you're going to, inshallah, design, uh, for example, like the Wrights brothers, they, they have in their mind, they thought about how to build an aeroplane. So they built the first aeroplane that hopped about and just travel for about 200 yards. Then they increased that and after within 100 years today, we have these jet planes that we travel just like normal transportation, just like good, the good old days of using horses. Now we're using the aeroplane to travel from one point of the earth to another point of the earth based on the power of thinking big. So this is perfectly to be acceptable in Islam. So we Muslims must be creators. Creators of what? Creators of new technologies, creators of new knowledge, creators of new economics, creators of a just society, creators of the best so, uh, family structure, social structure, economics, whatever that you can dream, you can dream big. For example, if you have a Muslim economist, he wants to be the best economist in the world. That should be his dream. That should be his vision. Why? He wants to be the best economist in the world so that he can then make this world a better world, a just world. Why not? So he studies economics, he publishes papers and he begins to uh, do research and then he becomes the best economist in the world. Or a scientist that wants to find a cure for cancer. Or a zoologist who wants to find, who wants to preserve a certain species of dying that, that is dying in this earth. Uh, because of pollution and environmental degradation and so many things. So there are many, many things that we Muslims can have the ability, the vision, the mission and the power of thinking big. And that is perfectly consonant with Islam. So we do not want to be passive Muslims, you know, negative Muslims. We look at all around this world today, it is the non-Muslims that are discovering new things. Where are the Muslims? Where are we? It is they who are at the pinnacle of education, scientific discovery, frontiers of new knowledge and so on. Where are we? It is they who develop new, for example, economic model or even entrepreneurship. Some good, some bad. But right now, for example, the economic system of the world based on gross capitalism of consumption is bound to implode. All right? That is bad. So we have to have a new model based on Al-Adil. How are we going to develop a new model among Muslims first? And how are we going to have real currency instead of fake currency? All right? uh, based on real intrinsic value, not just some mumbo-jumbo thing created by uh, God knows who. So what is important for us is we must be able to think big. We must infuse in our self, our family, our children, the ability to think big and strive as best as possible to achieve the best that we can. And that will bring us closer and closer to our role as being the Khalifa of Allah on this earth. That means being Khalifa means being his vicegerent means we are representing Allah. And whatever that we do to strive to make ourselves good will be 
good in so far as we are doing it for, to the best of our ability as given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So remember, use this gift of Allah, of the power of thinking big. Always referring ourselves to be small in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but big in the sight of other human beings. Why should we count out to uh, somebody here, Mr. A or Mr. B? Uh, why should we go around begging for money from them? Whereas the wealth that Allah has given to this in this dunya is to be shared. So if we are uh, an achiever, we are thinking big, we want to be a millionaire, we want to be a billionaire, why not? That is halal way of becoming a billionaire and then you can use that billions to help out uh, the world. And we have good examples, even for a non-Muslim. For so example, Bill Gates, after making his billions, becoming the rich man, richest man on this earth, now he's spending his money. He didn't buy on a uh, uh, special yacht or all these uh, uh, special fast cars and all, wasting his money, but he's putting his money back to develop uh, education and good health for all human beings, which is a good thing. We must acknowledge, but where are the Muslims? So we must be better than Bill Gates. That means if we, we can become a billionaire of his stature, then we can help to create a just society and do many, many more things, all right? That is consonant with this idea of being able to think big. So remember, always infuse in our children that they must be able to think big in whatever they do. Whatever they feel, whatever they touch, they must have this mirror's touch of achieving the best, fulfilling the best, receiving the best from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, always knowing that we acknowledge our smallness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but equal or better than any of His creatures that Allah has created on this earth or anywhere else. So inshallah, if you understand this concept, then you know how to carry ourselves to become an achiever in this world and the hereafter, inshallah.